Hi, I'm Amy Berkowitz, and I'm here to give you a do-it-yourself craft lesson. Um, today, in, in light of July 4th, we're going to be doing a patriotic Liberty Bell wind chime, and it looks like this. And you can, you can decorate it any way you'd like, but this is kind of the way to start it. I'm going to need some lanyard. They also call it gimp and plastic lacing uh, in, the, in the craft shops. And you'll need bells. You can get the jingle bells uh, in any craft shop. Cotton balls, a Sharpie. You'll need some patio paint in red, white, and blue. Um, I'll tell you what the pink is for later. And uh, you'll need a terracotta pot. And you'll be better than I am at taking out the label here. But you'll make sure that when you buy a either 4-inch or a 3-inch terracotta pot that you have a decent size hole in there so you're going to thread the lanyard through there so that you can hang it and you can put the bells on. Uh, you'll need about 40 inches of lanyard, so sort of a, an arm's length. And you might have more in the end, but it's better to have more than less. That's always a good thing to know in crafts. So, you're going to take the lanyard and you'll fold it evenly. Grab both ends here and fold it evenly. And then you're going to fold it in half like this and then fold it in half again so that you have one loop on the bottom and two regular strands that are loose. You'll be tying a double knot and you'll be putting it through the hole of the terracotta pot. You'll be feeding it through and you'll do better than I will. You'll feed it through and then tie a double knot or so so that it won't slip and you'll be able to hang it. You'll also need to do a knot inside the bell. And you can do that by doing individual knots with the two strands that you have, or you can do one big double knot. Um, you'll see what works for you. And so then after that, you're going to have a terracotta pot that'll be completely painted in white. White patio paint is what I use because it's good for outdoor or indoor. If you want to make sure that the pa paint really stays the way it should throughout the seasons, you can coat it in acrylic. Clear acrylic should do it. Um, you'll need three paint brushes, um, one for each color, and you'll start to paint the whole thing white and then you're going to add your stripes. So if you really want to be uh, accurate about it, you can uh, put painter's tape in the middle where the white has dried. It takes about a half hour to dry for this paint. And then you will put uh, a blue ring around, just like this, and use the lip as a guide. There you go. And like I say, I don't do it with the painter's paint because I like it to look a little homey, homemade. And to me, that's, you know, your, your mistakes are sort of gifts, you know? You can work around them. And it makes it look like it has personality. And then you can use the red. And I like to coat the whole red top here. And then in the end, whoops, I used blue. Okay, and then in the end you would have, you know, a red ring around the top. And just like uh, a thick band that you would need. And you can make it any way that you'd like. You know, I like the thick red band. You can do a thin red band. It kind of ends up looking like those firecracker icicles that kids eat in the summer. And then after you, the paint is all dried, um, or you could do this step beforehand, um, you can take a bell. I have these little jingle bells here. I get them in silver, blue, you can get them in red. And there are mini bells right in here. And they have little loops on top 
so that you can put the lanyard through and you'll take one piece of lanyard, put it through the little loop and then tie a knot through it just like you do any type of knot makes no difference and then you would trim the edge just enough so that it's pretty flush you don't want it to go oop and then the lanyard flies um, <laughs> but you have a little knot right there and what I would do is also load it up first like about two to three bells and do them in different lengths so that you can have a little wind chime and then if you'd like you can also glue stars on it I have a little star right here and you can you can use either fusion glue which is good for everything or hot glue gun and you can also buy um, these little uh, toothpick windmills they usually go in cupcakes but you'll find them in the patriotic section of your local craft store right now and you can decorate it the way you'd like and this is the finished product and you have it outside and it jingles just like any other wind chime or you can put it on your door as a decoration you can also make an Uncle Sam version this is a three inch pot that I took I had these little mini um, you know uh, Uncle Sam hats and you can drill a hole inside the hat and then loop the, the loop through so he's not bald <laughs> bald looking um, here he looks like Ben Franklin instead of uh, Uncle Sam and you would do the same thing all you would do is add cotton balls for his hair and his little beard and then you can take a sharpie pen and draw a little face and some googly eyes and he's all set to be uh, Uncle Sam only he won't ask for taxes okay okay you can also do uh, other things for different holidays you can do angels you can do Santa Claus um, I like to do little um, with kids I like to do a little um, a little uh, bug like a ladybug or you could do a cat and a dog you know it's it's endless what you can do with a little terracotta pot this whole thing should probably cost you about ten dollars and you can do several terracotta pots with the supplies